even in the agricultural community, growing grapes is quite different. It's, uh, it's very intensive. It's a horticultural crop. And so it takes a lot of hand work and a large, and a large economic investment to make a crop and then a larger investment still to make it into a bottle of wine. And so what we provide here is everything from growing the grapes, making the wine, and then marketing it. My name is Gil Giese, and I'm the viticulture instructor here at Surrey Community College in Dobson, North Carolina. We have an on-site vineyard that's on the campus that's about five acres in size with all these different varieties and trellising systems and research that we have, basic and applied research. Then we go to the fully bonded winery that we have. It's North Carolina number 80, meaning it's the 80th winery since prohibition to be licensed in the state of North Carolina. And it's on campus. And then we also have this whole ability to market the wines through festivals and we have several retail outlets now. And there's no other program that does all those things like that in the way we do them. Here a person with a high school education can walk in off the street apply the Surrey and get training to go right to work in the industry. Growing the grape is very agricultural. It, it's like I tell the students, it's, it's a lot like farming. And that's a, that's a joke that they don't seem to get at first. But they get it you know, after they sweat and work out in the vineyard. Then they go to the winery and that's like a cold, uh, clammy environment that they have to learn to work in. It has to be very clean and long hours there. And then after they get done with that, if they still have the romance of the grape, then they have to market it, knock on a lot of doors and work with the public. It's a center for networking for the whole industry. There's probably not very many in the North Carolina wine industry that don't have some sort of connection to Surrey Community College. North Carolina, from what I've seen thus far, is more of a white wine state or white wine region. Uh, we have some of the problems with red wines or the red grapes is we don't get them to the degree of ripeness where we get the full extraction of color and um, maturity that we would like. The white grapes that ripen earlier uh, seem to do well here. And, uh, but that's all a matter of working out some kinks. I mean, California has a couple hundred year head start on us. The French have about a thousand years on us. So in the short period of time that I've been here, about an eight year period, we've come a long way. And I think our wines are as good as anybody in, in some classes. It's probably going to take a while for us to, to uh, gain some sort of uh, recognition or signature in the world wine industry. But uh, we're getting there. And North Carolina is very, has some advantages. And one of them is they have the, a tradition of a successful small family farm. And that grew out of the tobacco production. So people really believe that they can make money and, and uh, benefit the family by just working a small plot of land. And grapes are, they, they lend themselves to that uh, if you're willing to do all that work.